guys, starting off my first vlog vlog where I'm not just sitting in front of the camera and talking to you guys. I'm actually heading to dance class right now. As you can see, it's nighttime. It's almost 6 p.m. I might be a little late today. I tend to run late to things. Actually, today I have a good reason. Um, as some of you know, I was recently let go from my job. Um, just got laid off because the position I was in uh, wasn't available anymore. They didn't need that. And I've been working there for a while. So it's just like kind of a mutual decision as well. I wanted to start something new and more within what I want to do, which is social media marketing. If you watch my first vlog, then you know I want to do social media marketing um, before I was doing something else with SEO link building. Totally nothing to do with belly dance. However, marketing helps me with my belly dance videos reaching out to you guys. Anyways, I'm excited for dance class. I'm not sure what we're going to do today. I know the past two weeks, uh, the focus was on Saidi and we were told to bring canes. Um, and last week I didn't make it to class. I know in my vlog I said I was going to, but things have been kind of up and down with the job search and finding income and things like that. You know, life just gets in the way. So, um, unfortunately, I didn't make it last week either. It's just one of those things. You know, life happens. I'm excited um, to learn Saidi, if that is what we're learning today. If it's not, that's fine. Um, I have so much to learn, as you guys know, um, to advance my moves and get one step closer to being a professional dancer. <laughs> Uh, anyways, so what I was up to today is basically applying to jobs and editing belly dance videos. Uh, later today, I'm going to upload a video to YouTube of me dancing to um, the song, I believe it's called Hello Wet Room, something like that. Um, it's Hakeem singing the song and the Lebanese singer, actor, belly dancer, um, well, I don't know, is she considered a belly dancer? She does belly dance moves, but I don't know if you would call her officially a belly dancer or not, but, um, she, what's her name? My mind is like, what's her name? I feel like every time I turn on the videos to talk to you guys, like, vlog style on YouTube, my mind kind of goes blank a bit. Um, Haifa? Haifa? I don't know how to pronounce her name. That's so embarrassing. Anyways, I'll just put it here for you guys. <laughs> yeah, so also I found a way to make money that's pretty fast. You guys have probably heard of it. Um, I'm going to be doing the ride share programs where you're kind of like a taxi driver. I don't know if you guys have it in your country or your state, wherever you are, but I'm going to do Lyft and Uber driving just because it's a fast way to make money. I don't really want to commit to a job that I'm not into. I could get like a retail job at the mall, be a sales associate for the holidays and whatnot, but I think it's more worth my time to drive people around and get money that way. Um, rather than do something that I'm not going to love. That way I can focus on finding a job in the field that I want to be in. Side note, I actually interviewed with a company yesterday, and it was really exciting because I feel like their values and what they're trying to do with their marketing is exactly what I want to do. So I pray that I get that job. <laughs> um, I'm really open to any job within communications, public relations, and marketing, but it's really nice when you speak to someone, um, an employer, and their values are aligning with what you want as well. That's what has me excited right now, really, because the job search process is so grueling, and it takes a lot out of you. 
I find myself wanting to meditate more lately and just like kind of recenter myself because the constant like not hearing back from a company or interviewing and not hearing back from the person that interviewed you can be very tolling on the soul, you know? So thankfully there's things like belly dance and meditation and yoga and working out at the gym to recenter me because if not, I think it would be a lot, you know, me as someone who suffers from depression and anxiety, if I didn't have these tools, you know, belly dance, meditating, working out, things like that, I would fall into a pit hole, I'm sure. It's just too much. There's like a lot happening as far as traffic here. <laughs> so crazy. So this guy tried to make it into the turn lane and he couldn't do it. <laughs> so then he was just like blocking the two lanes. He had to reverse and like out because it did not work out for him. And I can see why they say vlogging while driving is not a good idea, but that's why I haven't been making too much eye contact with you guys with the camera because I'm focusing on my driving. <laughs> when I am looking at you guys, it's because I'm on a red one. Today, before I started doing the rides and like after I was applying for stuff, I needed Kind of a stress relief and so i was looking on youtube at flutter tutorials and man all there is on youtube is a bunch of tutorials using the breathing technique and there was a belly dancer i'll put her info here um in the in the video for you guys um she gave me a different technique from that but i'm actually not finding any videos using that technique and what it was is um, she suggested I put a weight, like a book or something, on my belly and try to do my belly rolls and things like that. And when I can move the weight using the movements of my muscles and, you know, rolling my belly, then I know that I can flutter. So I guess it's just like strengthening those muscles that would be used to flutter. I think that's something I'd want to do. I bet people at the gym are going to look at me like I'm nuts <laughs> putting a weight there, but I mean, whatever. Uh, I'll probably do that at home and get used to it before I break out that move at the gym. Um, yeah. But speaking of Instagram, I have to say, I want to do a video um, talking about my favorite Instagram accounts. Um, there's a few belly dancers that really stand out to me. Um, one of them being Jacqueline. Uh, I believe her username is now at Jacqueline Rose Official. She changed her name. I'll be sure to leave it here. But I want to do a video specifically about the people who have been very supportive, have given me tips and advice and encouragement because there's quite a few of you out there. And I would say Jacqueline is like the main one because she was the first professional belly dancer to reach out to me and be like hey keep up the work and here's something you could do different she um gave me all this advice on how I should try to move my hands and she showed me these videos of like uh Lebanese singer the way she moves her hands and things like that and it actually really helped my dancing I feel like um I look way better dancing after she gave me that advice and I followed it. So I think we'll do a video on that. Anyways, just made it to dance class. I'm gonna head inside, catch up with you guys another time.